17, verse 14. And finally consider this. What is the root of Jesse spoken of in the 10th verse of the 11th chapter? Behold, thus saith the Lord, it is a descendant of Jesse as well as of Joseph. Now, Jesse was a Jew. Jesse is the father of King David. So this individual will be of the tribe of Judah through the line of Jesse or a Davidic servant as well as that of the tribe of Joseph through Ephraim and Manasseh unto whom rightly belongs the priesthood and the keys of the kingdom for an ensign and for the gathering of my people in the last days. Real quick. As I've talked about before, Joseph Smith was a pure Ephraimite. He was not of Judah. He was the only one to fulfill the pro that could fulfill the prophecy of Genesis chapter 49, where the keys or the scepter of power would depart from Judah when Shiloh comes. John the Baptist was of Judah. Jesus was of Judah. Peter, James, and John were of Judah. When the keys of, of the kingdom and the priesthood were given to Joseph Smith, when, the, uh, when they, he was receiving the confer, confirmation or conferral of the priesthood, the scepter of power departed from the house of Judah to a pure Ephraimite who was Joseph Smith. That's why I say Joseph Smith cannot be the Davidic servant. He was the only one that fulfills that, uh, that, that prophecy of Shiloh, that the scepter of power would depart from Judah when Shiloh came. Joseph Smith is Shiloh. Jesus Christ is not Shiloh because Jesus Christ is of the house of Judah, and when he held the keys and the scepter of power, it was held by a Jew, who was Jesus Christ. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. People try to make these links, but they they make the links that they're trying to make because they think they got it figured out, and they ignore other things, which would show that what they're talking about is a contradiction. So, anyway, I think we all do it. Oh. All right, so Adam, Enoch, Noah, Melchizedek, Elias, Moses, John the Baptist, Joseph Smith. Would to God, brethren, I could tell you who I am. See, this, these guys, they, they've got to make their, oh, they drive me nuts. Joseph Smith did say this, but they don't know what he's talking about because Joseph Smith never elaborated on it. So they're going to try to say, Oh, well, Joseph Smith, he said, you know, if you guys knew who I am, you'd call it blasphemy and, and all of this. Yeah, because you don't understand who he really is. Like, he wanted to give us so much more than he gave us, but the, the saints at the time were not ready for it, not even a little bit. Would to God, brethren, I could tell you who I am. Would to God I could tell you what I know. But you would all call it blasphemy, and when and there are men upon this stand who would want to take my life. And that's Joseph Smith Jr. is quoted by Heber C. Kimball, Life of Heber C. Kimball by Orson F. Whitney. That's interesting. Um, pages 322 through 323. So when we come back next time, um, when I come back to do another reading, we're going to be in chapter 20 of Teachings of the Doctrine of Eternal Lives, and it says, God himself shall come down. So we'll have to see what it says when we come back and read it at that time. So thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for watching the video on YouTube at Zion's Redemption Radio Network. Thank you for listening to the podcast on iTunes at Zion's Redemption Radio Network or at blogtalkradio.com forward slash fundamentally Mormon. So anyway, without any uh, 
nothing else to really say. I'm just thankful that you listened to the program. And like I said, the link in the description for uh, reading this for yourself will be provided in all places where this podcast is posted. And uh, you can go and read it for yourself. I, I hope that you learn from, uh, from these things. And I hope that it helps you to have insight that maybe you may not have. And uh, I hope that you can get revelation for yourself and confirmation of the Spirit when you are correct in what you believe, line upon line, precept upon precept, that we should all be prophets. God is no respecter of persons. And Joseph Smith and Jesus Christ said that the things that you have seen shall you do greater. So God wants us all to come to him individually and true prophets show us how to do that. So anyway, thank you for listening, everyone. Take care. God bless. And goodbye.